After careful research, we've put together a list of the top three handheld GMRS radios for 2024, starting with a model that offers notable value without compromising on quality and performance. Next, we highlight a premium radio that stands out for its design and feature set, appealing to those looking for more than just functionality, and concluding with our selected standout, a GMRS radio distinguished by its blend of features, efficiency, and user friendliness. Price information and all GMRS radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. Let's begin with our third pick, which is our choice for the best budget handheld GMRS radio. Pricing has always been the attractive side of Baofeng radios, but things get sweeter with the better build quality and performance of radios like the GMRS 9R. And that's what makes this transceiver our budget pick. There are improvements here that go beyond the CCR stereotype for Baofeng radios. These are visible in several aspects like the programming, firmware, and even visually with the casing and design. Many packages of this radio include two batteries, so you can have the radio working while one battery sits in the cradle and charges. Though this is a likable solution, repeated use is likely to weaken the waterproofing seal over time. That's not really this radio's fault, that's just how things work. The front of the GMRS radio shows a clear screen and a backlit and rubberized keypad. As with much of the newer crop of Baofeng radios, this one too says goodbye to the old rubber ducky antenna and embraces a whip antenna. Some packaging also includes an 18.8-inch Abri tactical antenna for improved performance. Other accessories include a charging dock and Abri microphone. When it comes to programming, the radio works with Chirp but you'll need to purchase the cable separately, although you might be able to use it right out of the box since it isn't programmed to narrowband or proprietary tones. Also, it does have a strange quirk. When scanning, it will stop whenever it encounters a NOAA channel. You could set it to skip NOAA channels in scanning, but that will require programming. Moving on, the rated maximum RF power output for this radio is 5 watts, with the minimum at 0.5 watts. Though, as with most cheap radios, the maximum RF output can be variable and might be lower than the advertised number. When it comes to the competition, it would be only natural to compare it to another famous waterproof and budget GMRS, the Baofeng UV9G. Practically, both of these are the same radio and even share the same FCC ID. Baofeng GMRS 9R simply happens to be in a more modern housing. Overall, Baofeng GMRS 9R is a decent and well-priced GMRS radio. It's sturdy, waterproof, and generally useful to anyone who wants a reliable handheld GMRS transceiver on a budget. Our rating for features is 7.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. Signal quality, 7.5 out of 10. Ease of use, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Moving to our second pick. We have the best premium handheld GMRS radio, Oshan KG Q10G. Performance, style, good user interface, and ease of use all come packed neatly in Oshan KG Q10G, thus making it one of the very best handheld GMRS radios. It's a relatively new model that's rich in features and implements them quite well. Oshan has maintained its focus on quality and aesthetics. It is available in four colors as a bright color display and a generally pleasing aesthetic. On top of that, you can set up color themes to match your preference. It sounds a bit gimmicky at first, but upon use I found the themes likable and a nice touch. The large display has room to show and monitor two channels at a time. Since this is a super heterodyne radio, this is true monitoring. Building on that, the radio has two PTT buttons on its side, followed by two customizable action buttons. These features are a slight departure from conventional Ocean models like the KG UV9G series. While the quality of the transceiver remains the same, the focus on design and appearance is a welcome touch. Additionally, the KG Q10G is also a proving ground for newer modules like GPS and improvements in UI. On the other side of the radio, there's a flap that hides a USB-C connector for charging the battery. You can use a USB-C charging cable though it's not included in the box. What is included is the conventional cradle charger that takes its sweet time powering the 3000 mAh battery, though it's better for battery life. A little above this is another flap, secured by screws. 
That's where you can connect external speakers and programming cable. The reason for these flaps is that this is an IP67 dustproof and waterproof device and can survive being submerged in water. It is programmable via Ocean's software, though a fair bit can be handled directly through the radio. The user interface is simple and intuitive. Another cool feature here is the built-in GPS. It tracks its position and can send and receive GPS data from other Q10 series radios. If it has GPS coordinates from another radio, it can show their presence relative to your own position on the screen. The reception capabilities here are phenomenal. Apart from the GMRS band, it can receive NOAA channels and sound weather alerts, CB radio transmission in AM and FM, airband in AM, and more. Since the receiver goes all the way from 76 MHz to 999 MHz, it does a good job in outclassing competition like the BTEC GMRS Pro. BTEC is no match for the Super Heterodyne receiver, the polished user interface, and overall better quality of Ocean. Though all that innovation and new development is worthy of praise, the radio doesn't forget to include and improve upon conventional features as well. So the RF output power gets up to 6 watts, coupled with 4 TX power levels, and it offers conventional features like Roger Beep, Vox, Talk Around, CTCSS, DCS, both standard and non-standard, it's repeater capable, it has 999 memory channels, programming options for PTT keys, and more. Overall, Ocean KG-Q10G is a wonderful high-end GMRS radio with great build quality and features. It's suitable for just about anyone, as long as you can justify the high price tag. Our ratings for features is 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Signal quality, 9.5 out of 10. Ease of use, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. Tide Radio TDH8 GMRS shows a decent set of features, performance, and ease of programming to earn the top place on our list. Before moving on, some notes are necessary here to avoid confusion. The company makes this radio available in two versions, with almost identical names. TDH8 HAM is the HAM radio version with a 10-watt RF output, and TDH8 GMRS is pretty much the same radio, except the power output is now 5-watt max and the transceiver is locked to GMRS frequencies. Aesthetically, the transceiver manages to hit the sweet spot. Its build quality is good, and the bright display takes attention. The 1.77-inch color display has enough room to show relevant information. Plus, the colors make it look better while also making it easier to spot the information you want. The orange PTT button is easy to wrap your fingers around, and while it lacks that satisfying push, it is functionally sound. The keypad, too, is convenient to use. Moving to the top of the radio, you'll find the volume control knob, flashlight, and antenna connector. The company includes two antennas with the transceiver. One is the 6-inch rubber ducky, while the other is a taller 15-inch whip antenna. The whip antenna has better performance, but the rubber ducky is more convenient when you're moving about. Power for the radio comes from a 2500 mAh lithium-ion battery, which is adequate for use, and it is one of the larger capacity batteries in comparable radios. Its main competitor, the BTEC GMRS V2, appears to be outclassed in features like battery capacity programming options, and the value proposition. And that's impressive, since value is a big part of the BTEC brand. While there is no programming cable in the box, TDH8 is programmable through Chirp and Tide Radio's CPS. On top of that, you can program it through your smartphone's Bluetooth connection. Overall, Tide Radio TDH8 GMRS stays true to its power output and offers good performance. All these make it a great choice for hobbyists who want more features and style from their handheld GMRS radio. Our ratings for features is 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Signal quality, 8 out of 10. Ease of use, 8.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.